I'm going to be replacing the wheel bearings on this line painter. Keep watching the video, I'll show you just how we do that. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff Lepard from DoItAllSealing.com. Today, we're going to be replacing the wheel bearings on this line painter. That also will work for any other piece of equipment that you might have, but I'm just gonna use this line painter uh, for the purpose because I have to change the wheel bearings on it. So first thing we need to do is need to take the, um, the tire assembly off to access the wheel bearings. I'm just gonna use this wrench. Now I've just, uh, to make it a little easier on yourself, I just put this block uh, of wood just so that the tires can spin so I can, instead of lifting it up and trying to uh, take the wheel off, we have uh, have easier access to do this now. Okay, so, so as you see here, we actually, we have the whole thing off. So there's a bolt behind it as well. So we're going to have to remove the entire bolt on the inner side. Just unscrew it. And we'll remove the washer, put that aside. And then the bolt will slide right out. So, what's going on here is uh, the bearings are gone, so there's a lot of play. You can even see uh, with this. And you can tell that by fear piece of equipment, uh, when you have your wheel on and the bearings are gone, you'll see the, ti the tire will be wobbling a little bit. That's uh, showing that the bearings have too much play and you need to replace the bearings. And on this particular case with this machine, it's hard to keep the line painter straight if your tires aren't, uh, if your tires are wobbling rather. So bearings have to be uh, changed. So that's the first thing we gotta do and they're completely gone. So now what we gotta do, grab my hammer and um, you can use a flathead screwdriver and I'm just gonna go through the other side and I'm just gonna tap it until the bearing pops out on the other side, just like that. So there's the old one, it's a little rough, you can see it, uh, and then I'm going to do the same for the other side of this. Give it a couple taps, okay, like so, oh this one's really rough, barely even spins. Okay so now that the wheel is prepped, uh, the old bearings are removed. We've got the new bearings. When purchasing these, just make sure they're the exact fit for whatever application that you need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing these in. So the first thing you do, you just gotta put it over the, uh, over the hole. Sometimes they, uh, it may be a little bit tricky to get in. If that's the case, you can always use a bit of uh, a hammer and just give it light taps around the edge and uh, it should drop in. Um, in this case, Actually, these bearings fit perfectly. It drops right in, so I don't have to do anything. I don't have to hammer anything. Flip it around on the other side. Replace the inner and outer bearings, and let's see if this drops right in. This one's, uh, so I'll give it a little tap. And there we go. So you can see, oh, see the back one's a little loose, so. Okay, so that one spins. So now we're ready to start assembling the wheel back on the machine. So we take the, uh, we take our bolt. I'm just gonna give a little WD-40 just for, to clean the threads and to um, make it a little bit more lubricate. So I push that through. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna secure 
the uh, bolt onto the back first and then I'm going to put it onto the machine. I'm just going to tighten that. Give it a spin here to make it a little quicker. Okay, so we got it hand tight. I'm just going to snug it with the, uh, the wrench. And tight. This way we don't have any wobble or play. <clears throat> okay. Okay. We want to make sure that uh, it still spins. Okay. So now I'm going to put the wheel back on the line painter gonna turn it to the threads catch I'm just gonna spin it pretty much and then I'm gonna tighten it on okay. wrench on there and just gonna go hand tight Now, if the, uh, check to make sure the wheel still spins. If it doesn't, then you've cranked it on too tight and you have to loosen it off a little bit. So this is fairly snug. And um, that's good. Now you check, you can see that the bearings are good. There's no play. Even when I push this, there's no play at all. Now we just have to do the other wheel. Okay, so we're ready to change the bearings on the other side, but uh, so as I mentioned before, this is going to be the reason why you have to change the bearings. If you look, lots of play on this wheel, the whole thing is uh, shifting, the bearings are complete, completely gone. So that's why I wanted to show you uh, why you actually have to replace the inner and outer bearings on this. So. That's about it for this. You've already seen me do the one wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this and you guys can get started on your own projects at home. Hopefully this video helps you, whether this be a line painter, a lawn mower, any kind of application it works. Just make sure you have the proper bearings that are for your application. Uh, so that's it. Just wanna thank you for watching the video. Drop a comment below and let me know how this video helped you or if you have any other videos you'd like to see me do, I'd love to do that. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, turn notifications on and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching the video we'll see you next time at doitallceiling.com take care guys bye bye